Now that we've recorded payments and invoices, we now have to apply those payments to those specific invoices. And it's very, very easy. Now that we've recorded payments and invoices, we now have to apply those payments to those specific invoices. And it's very, very easy. The open invoice report is the most important report for you to be able to tell which payments have been applied to which invoices. The open invoice report should show only the net remaining amount of either the payments that have not been used or the invoices that have not been paid for. Only invoices that are not paid or only payments that are not yet used should show up on the open invoice report, not both. Let's take a look. From the icon bar we click open invoice. Now we can see that we have payments that are not completely used up and invoices that ha have not yet have payments applied to those invoices. This is not the way the open invoice is supposed to look. It's supposed to be only remaining payments or only invoices that have not been paid. So in the example of Alan Arby, instead of showing a $6,000 payment and a $1,000 invoice, it should not show the invoice at all. It should show only 5000 of payment unapplied and waiting to be applied to future invoice. Same thing with Betty Boop. It should not show 7200 in payment. It should not show 1200 of invoice. It should show only a $6,000 remaining payment waiting to be applied. So how do we do that? Well, we have to choose which payments to apply to which invoices. We will apply them in date order because we get several payments and we make several invoices and we assume the earliest invoices will be paid for by the earliest payments. Now it's very simple to apply payments to invoices. You can double click the invoice that obviously has not yet had a payment applied to it because it's still here on the open invoice report. When you double click you can go up to the ribbon and in the main tab of the ribbon, one of the choices is apply credits. So when you click apply credit, you will see all of the payments and all of the credits that have been received by or given to this particular client, Alan Arby. In this case, there's only one. So QuickBooks has automatically selected it because it knows if this is the only payment on the list to a possibly apply to this invoice, then it can be the only one, so QuickBooks placed the check mark here. In a situation where you have several payments, you would have to click in the margin to put the check mark on the particular payment that you were applying to this invoice. When we click Done, and then we click Save and Close, we go back to the Open Invoice Report and we see the Open Invoice Report now looks the way it's supposed to look in regard to Alan Arby. Instead of having two transactions not apply to each other, we have just the net amount. So the only open thing for Alan is this payment in the amount of $5,000 for future services. We can do the same thing for Betty Boop. Double click and then in the main tab of the ribbon click apply credits. She only had one payment that could possibly be applied to this invoice. So QuickBooks placed the check mark here. But if there were several, you would have to click the check mark and choose the payment that's being applied to this invoice. Click Done, click Save and Close, and now Betty Boop's section of the open invoice looks correct. She has a net remaining amount of $6,000 from a payment on January 1st that has not yet been used up. You can even apply a past payment at the moment you make an invoice. For example, February 9 did the remaining second court appearance for Candy Charles and earned the remaining 1200 from her payment on January 5th. So, 
That means we will have to make an invoice, an additional invoice, for Candy Charles. We open the invoice window. We make it February 9th of 2017. And of course, the client is Candy Charles. And the QuickBooks puts invoice number four. In our case, we put everything into fees earned because we don't track our income. And the amount earned on February 9th was 1200 Now, even before we push save and close, we can click apply credits and then click yes. And then we see, again, this $2,400 payment is the only payment on this list. So QuickBooks has already placed the check mark here. We can click done and save. And we see that the invoice we just made on February 9th did not even show up on the open invoice report because it was paid and the payment was applied at the moment we recorded it. Unfortunately, we can't have this. Candy's balance is zero, so there should be nothing in the open invoice for Candy. So we can double click the old invoice, click apply credit. You see there's only a $1,200 credit from a payment left over from January 5th. It's already selected, so click Done and Save. And now Candy Charles is not showing up at all on the Open Invoice Report, and she should not, and the Open Invoice Report looks correct. If you ever need to see any of Candy's past transactions, you can always open up the Client Balance Detail, and you can see the entire activity and every payment and every invoice for Candy. If you need to see how past payments were applied to past invoices, you can look at the transaction history of the invoice to see what payments have been applied to what invoices. So every invoice has a payment history. And the best place to find all your invoices is on the customer balance detail because if they're already paid and payments have been applied they won't show up on open invoice so we open the customer balance detail you can call it the clients balance detail and let's pick any of these invoices for example this payment here with can uh, for invoice number three with candy double click now because this invoice has already been paid it has a paid sticker right here and it even tells you the date of the payment that was applied to this invoice however in the reports tab of the ribbon you can click transaction history and you will get a list of every single past payment that was applied to this particular invoice this transaction history window will show you all the payments in date order and it will show you the running balance of this specific invoice. The other way to do it is to actually open up the payment to see how the invoices were applied. So for example, if I double click this particular payment for Candy Charles, I can see that the payment she made on January 5th was applied to the invoice that was made on February 2 and also applied to the invoice that was made on February 9. You should also know that you can use the payments window to unapply or reapply a payment to a different invoice. Now if you want to really be an expert on how to do that, you can see the supplemental videos provided in this course.